Chapter 12, Section 1, The Hershey Chase Experiment Scientists are a skeptical group. It usually takes several experiments to convince them of something as important as the chemical nature of the gene. The most important of these experiments was performed in 1952 by two American scientists, Alfred Hershey and Martha Chase. They collaborated in studying viruses, non-living particles smaller than a cell that can infect living organisms. Bacteriophages. One kind of virus that infects bacteria is known as a bacteriophage, which means bacteria eater. Figure 12-3 shows typical bacteriophages. Bacteriophages are composed of a DNA or RNA core and a protein coat. When a bacteriophage enters the bacterium, the virus attaches to the surface of the cell and injects its genetic information into it. The viral genes act to produce many new bacteriophages, and they gradually destroy the bacterium. When the cell splits open, hundreds of new viruses burst out. Radioactive markers. Hershey and Chase reasoned that if they could determine which part of the virus, the protein coat or the DNA core, entered the infected cell, they would learn whether genes were made of protein or DNA. To do this, they grew viruses in cultures containing radioactive isotopes of phosphorus-32 and sulfur-35. This was a clever strategy because proteins contain almost no phosphorus and DNA contains no sulfur. The radioactive substances could be used as markers. If sulfur-35 was found in the bacteria, it would mean that the virus proteins had been injected into the bacteria. If P32 was found in the bacteria, then it was the DNA that had been injected. The Hershey Chase experiment is shown in figure 12-4. The two scientists mixed the marked viruses with bacteria. Then they waited a few minutes for the viruses to inject their genetic material. Next, they separated the viruses from the bacteria and tested the bacteria for radioactivity. Nearly all the radioactivity in the bacteria was from the phosphorus, or P32, the marker found in DNA. Hershey and Chase concluded that the genetic material of the bacteriophage was DNA and not protein.